All right, folks, it's Mitchell here again. I'm going to do another one of these videos on how to grow stuff. And this one here is actually pretty, pretty cool. It's been a hell of a mission for me, and I figured it out, so I'm going to share it with you guys. What do you think about that? Planting a banana tree. Now, here's the kicker, okay? You cut this in half, and you look into that, there's those little black spots in the middle. Now, I don't want to sound like a stupid redneck, but I tried picking those out, I tried germinating those, I tried planting those, I tried just about everything there is to try to get one of these things to grow. And it just did not work out for me at all. So I, I bought a book on it, and I read up on it a little bit more. Well, guess what? You want to see how big a banana seed is? Let's go into this. I'm going to put her down here where you can see her. Alright, move her down. That should be good right there. Okay. You want to see how big a banana seed is? This is retarded. Again, I've done the germination station again. I had this in my Tupperware, paper towel, the seeds, no big deal. Now, I've already planted the ones that germinated, but I just wanted to show you today. Let's get this over here. Look at the size of that. That did definitely not come out of the center of that. So that goes to show you right there. There's no way you can grow a banana tree out of one of these bad boys. It's just not going to happen. So I actually went to my local uh, plant store or whatever you want to call it, and I found some seeds that were shipped in from Florida. So this is what I, I had purchased here. Now these are dwarf banana tree plants. Now the thing is, you don't want to go get just any banana tree plant. You can go to some nurseries and they sell uh, full size plants for like 60 or 80 bucks, but I mean, you know, you're never ever going to grow a giant banana friggin' tree ever in your, uh, in your house. So you want to get the dwarf ones that are small, that way you can actually grow it, it'll actually grow some fruit to her, and we're good to go. So this one here, this is two and a half months old. Look at that. First one I got to sprout, first one I got to grow. I got a brand new shoot going on the top here, and these are just little right now. If you think about the size, these leaves are going to be like that once it gets to be a good sized little tree, but that is a good looking plant, I'm going to have to say. Healthy growth right there. And all I'm going to do here real quick is I uh, just want to show you how to transplant these. When this thing here comes to a point where it's done in that little last pot you got her in, you're going to want to put her into something new. So this one's a little bit bigger. I like to go in stages, so I let the roots grow into the pot, and then I'll, tr I'll switch it to another one. All you want to do, you're going to water it first, okay? Now I'm going to take my hand and my fingers, and I'm going to slide it overneath, over the stalk here so i got a good grip on her. And I'm just going to give a little wiggle on the bottom here to loosen some stuff up. Oh, let's put her up a little bit, you can see her. And I'm going to flip it. Now don't damage nothing. There we go, I got her. I got her. Look at that. Look at the big old root sticking out the bottom of that thing. Right there. And there's lots of good roots up in that. That goes to show you that worked out real well. And I'll put that in my soil. And then all I'm going to do, I'll just take another one, uh, another pot I got here. It's got some soil in her. And I'm just going to move it all around the outsides. Making sure that the plant stays nice and even in the middle. Like so. You want to pat it down, but you don't want to pat it down too hard. Because again, you saw the roots that were sticking out the side there. Last thing we want to do to a nice beautiful plant like this is damage anything. And look at that. There she be. That there looks pretty damn good to me. I'm pretty proud of that, man. You don't understand. When I tell you I tried a hundred freaking times to grow a freaking banana tree out of one of these, I freaking did. And now I got one. So soon enough, she's going to be big. I'm going to put it right by the window. Uh, the book that I bought says that uh, banana trees do not like direct sunlight, which I don't understand at all because a big old ass banana tree, you know, down in uh, Florida or wherever, you know, wherever, you would think that these things are getting straight up sunlight all day long, but it did say in the book that you don't want to give direct sunlight, so I'm just going to set her off beside the window there, and, and there it is, how to grow your own banana tree. Okay, thanks for watching.